This is Lesson 1.2, Linear Measure. Your objectives are to measure segments and calculate with measures. Measure line segments. The part of a line between two endpoints is called a line segment. The length of segment MN and segment RS are written as MN and RS. When they're written like this, they're referring to the number value of how long they are. All measurements are approximations dependent upon the smallest unit of measure available on the measuring instrument. Find the length of each line segment or object. Number one, segment AB is measured with centimeters. Line it up and that hits 2.5 centimeters. Number two, segment ST is measured in inches. The inches are divided into four. It hits the one and one-fourth inch mark. Number three, the pencil is measured in inches, and they're measured in the quarter inch marks. This will be two and one quarter inches. Number four has a thumbtack measured with centimeters there. Line it up and that comes to about 1.7 centimeters. Number five, the pentagon lines up 3.1 centimeters. Number six, the heart is measured in inches and the ruler is divided into the nearest sixteenth of an inch. We go to four sixteenths of an inch there and it's really one and one fourth when you reduce. Calculate measures. On line PQ, to say that point M is between points P and Q means that PQ and M are collinear and PM plus MQ equals PQ. In other words, one part plus another part equals the whole thing. In a segment, the parts add up to the whole thing. On line AC, AB equals BC, which equals 3 centimeters. We can say the segments are congruent segments, or segment AB is congruent to segment BC. Slashes on the figure indicate which segments are congruent. Notice the two slashes that say that those two segment parts are congruent. Find the measurement of each segment. Assume that each figure is not drawn to scale. The measure of segment RT. Well, segment RT is divided into parts. And the parts add up to equal the whole thing. 2.0 plus 2.5 equals the whole thing, RT. Add those together. 4.5, and that's centimeters, is the length of segment RT. The length of segment BC. Well, the parts add up to the whole thing. Two and three fourths plus BC, which is the other part, equals the whole thing six. If you subtract two and three fourths inches from each side, BC is going to equal three and one quarter inches. The parts add up to the whole thing. The measure of segment WX. Well, segment WX is one part, and it's congruent to the other part, XY. So we could say that each of those equals WX. That's a WX, and that's a WX, because they're marked congruent. So the parts add up to equal the whole thing.
come down here wx and wx is 2wx and then divide both sides by 2 wx is equal to 3 centimeters Find the value of X and the measure of segment RS if S is between R and T. If S is between R and T, then it's drawn like this, and the two parts add up to equal the whole thing. The two parts are 5X and 3X. Those are RS and ST. They add up to the whole thing, RT and that's 48. So 8x is 48. Divide by 8 and x is 6. That's your first answer. RS is 5x and x is 6. So RS is 30. Add up the parts to equal the whole thing. Number 6, we have another situation where the parts add up to the whole thing. RS plus ST equals RT. The parts RS and ST add up to the whole thing RT. Make your equation, combine your like terms, subtract 4 from both sides, and divide by 7, and X is 4. RS is 2X, which is 2 times 4, which is 8. The parts add up to the whole thing. Determine whether each pair of segments is congruent. Segment AB and segment CD. Well, segment AB has a measure of 5 centimeters, and segment CD has a measure of 5 centimeters. Their measures are the same, so the segments are congruent. 